If you are a DTC brand, online store or e-commerce website running ads on Google, today I want to show you why your shopping ads may not be doing well. This report in Merchant Center, Google Merchant Center can be quite revealing. Chances are that if you are using an agency, they may not be aware or they may not have paid attention or ignored it. And chances are also good that if you are new to Google Shopping, Google Ads, you may not have noticed because this is one feature that usually gets overlooked. We just onboarded a DTC brand from Australia and the, we were about to set up the Merchant Center uh, you know, feed for them and then shopping campaign and we noticed that there is something super important thing missing on their products, on their product attributes. So how do you identify whether or not your products are going to do well on shopping ads? Go to Merchant Center or Merchant Center next and go to this products report on the left right once you go to the products report you will see this list of products here and then there is this one column click potential now this click potential column is super important if you don't see this click potential column you can click on this these three bars and modify columns and add the click potential column from here cool click potential column yes this one so you can check this on and once you check this on, you will be able to see the click potential of every product. What this means, the click potential basically tells you how likely are your products to get clicks versus the average performing products. Let's look at the definition here. Oops, it's gone. Let me bring this up here. Click potential. It got ended to, added to the end. So I'm going to bring this up on top. Oops, there are a lot of columns here. I want to keep it next to the price or clicks. Better with the clicks, right? Save it. Now, as you can see, this is a new online store and the click potential is low on most of the products, on all products basically. So why is this showing low? There can be multiple reasons. So if you roll over this click potential column, it says, a product's potential estimates the product's click potential estimates the performance potential compared to your highest performing products compared to the highest performing but because this is a new online store this is a new merchant center account and there is no performance history therefore everything is at low but is that just the high, highest performing products that makes the click potential no so i just googled it and found this important report for you and this will tell you uh, what goes behind calculating the click potential of your products. So look at this. A product's click potential estimates its performance potential compared to your highest performing products. That is what Merchant Center told us, right? But there is more to this. The click potential of product helps you prioritize which products to fix and helps you understand how products are performing against their potential. A potential is calculated. This is, this is the important part, right? It's calculated based on past traffic. There is no past traffic on this particular account. Therefore, the potential is low. But product data and demand. So, product data and demand can be measured only if the products have two important ingredients, two important data points. One, that the products would have defining title so that Google understands what this product is about. Three things actually. Product titles should be descriptive enough so that Google understands what product this is about. Number two, let me explain number one, why it's important. So look at this product. It says design A002. Now this doesn't tell Google what this product is about, right? Also, the second thing is that the product category should be set. Google in most cases will automatically identify the ideal category as per Google shopping taxonomy. If it doesn't, you can manually check and ensure that the Google product category is taken care of. It, it belongs to the right category. So what do I mean by that? If you open the product and go into additional details, you will see the uh, Google product category here. So it goes under arts and entertainment party celebration which is not bad category this is good category google is smart enough to understand this 
there is one important thing that may help Google is the GTINs global trade item number uh, I don't think this one has GTIN here and therefore this may not tell Google enough about this product so the Google Google can't classify this product properly and therefore you know the th two things are missing right the title is not descriptive enough I don't think there is a GTI in here it's not showing up so probably it's not available yep it's not available right so the to to be able to increase the click potential of your products one thing you need to do is which is very basic to take care of is write the product titles yourself you can do this using feed rules like uh, like how I what I mean by feed rules is for example this if you open this product this product is a st stubby holder right this is a stubby holder but it says stubby colors and stuff but it doesn't say the stubby holder in or the color definition of that stubby holder in the title of the product I doubt if it says even in the description in description it says drink insulators are not just for cans anymore so stubby holder drink insulators right so this is a drink insulator this is what it should say in the product title that will help increase your click potential why because how the how Google shopping Google product ads match to their audience based on clicks based on keywords so people are searching for stubby holders drink insulators and you're not saying drink insulators for your product but you're saying design a one two three how do you think Google is going to find and match your product ad against a search for drink insulator or stubby holder right so it's super important to write this in the product title this will help increase click potential of your products and once you have higher click potential once you have like the to be able to get higher clicks you gotta first get matched to the searches your customers are uh, searching for right for example if you are like I said drink insulator people are searching for drink insulator unless you match how will you get traffic and how will you then increase the click potential so the first step is to match to the relevant keywords and you can do that by rewriting the product titles and also adding these keywords in the description at least not write something which is very generic like design a002 it means nothing it says boozies but that's the brand name by the way but if people if this is a new brand and people are not aware about what is boozies then they're probably not going to find your product anyway right so hope this is helpful you can rewrite product titles I more often you know there are so many times I audit an account or onboard a client and only to find that their product titles basically have no keywords or product titles don't define the product which is a big miss it becomes difficult unless this can be uh, you know automatically rewritten with a feed rule in this case though we are going to write uh, rewrite their product titles by adding the words drink insulator stubby holder through a formula through a feed rule in the beginning or end of the product title probably in the beginning better like for example if this design a002 is about it's a drink insulator right so we'll probably pick up drink insulator from here description first two words from here and add it to the beginning of the title using a feed rule I have made a video about feed rules and you can find that video here I have given a link if you don't then just go to youtube.com and search for feed rules will probably end up with our video oops leave history of feed rules okay if you search ah, no our video is not here where is our video feed rules video oh damn you Google it used to be the top rank video ah there you go here so this is a feed rule Google Merchant Center feed rule video that you can watch and you can easily understand how to replace the product title 
based on certain criteria, certain conditions, right? So we are going to rewrite their product titles using feed rules, add those, these two keywords, drink insulators, this one keyword, two words. At the beginning, sometimes uh, it would even make sense to add, you know, stubby holder. Let's see another product. What does it say? Uh, this, this looks like custom jersey stubby holder, see? So this one has done a good job of writing the, this one has at least stubby holder as the keyword here, right? Um, our jersey stubby coolers, maybe we can add stubby coolers in the title. This will also help improve the products relevance to the keyword searches. So we're going to do those tweaks with feed rules and help improve their product feed to make these products have higher click potential and that will be a win for this this online store for this client of ours so hope hope this is helpful to you if you are a if you are an online store e-commerce website or dtc brand and you need professional help with google ads reach out to us this is what we do this is what we are really good at and we can help you we can help take care of your google ads campaigns really well and scale your sales profitably with Google Ads. We have delivered crazy <laughs> amount of growth to our clients, sometimes even going from $500 a day to $20,000 a day uh, in, in ad spend, which means, and they're doing it pro uh, profitably, right? So which means that um, our clients are winning, they're experiencing crazy growth. You too can experience that kind of a growth provided you have a great product, uh, you know, great brand, uh, you know, and great value props. If all of that is taken care of, we get we can literally multiply your sales with Google Ads. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> this will help encourage me to make more such videos and offer more value through Google Ads. Cheers.